First tonight, we just received a terribly sad update from police about a family found dead in their South Austin home overnight. One of them was a six-year-old boy. APD is investigating it as a double murder suicide. KXAN police reporter Jacqueline Powell is live in the Bradshaw Crossing subdivision that's near Onion Creek with more on what we've learned so far. Robert Britt, people who live in this neighborhood tells me this family has been here in this home for more than a decade. And uh, they say that uh, Jennifer, who they say is the mom and the little boy, James Robinson, who's six years old, uh, police tell us that they were found killed with gunshot wounds inside of the home. Police also found Darius Robinson, who they believe killed the two, then died by suicide himself. The neighbors say from the outside they would have never expected this. This is not the norm for this usually quiet street. I heard a lot of noises out here, so I came outside and there was EMS, um, police officers, and so it was just a very busy, busy street last night around like 12 o'clock. And the busyness continued into the next day. Neighbors driving and walking by to get a glimpse of the house they'd seen on the news. I mean, it's kind of hard. Wrenching the Greg Burke and some others who live across the street say the last time they saw any movement from the Robertsons was Sunday when Darius turned his truck around in the driveway and these dumpsters were put out. The dumpsters sat there long after the trash was collected, signaling something wasn't quite right. A family member had called in concerned about someone at this location that they had not heard from for some time. In the past 12 years, Burke has lived here. I've had interactions with the family um, here and there. Real nice couple. He couldn't have imagined an ending like this. To kind of hear this is, um, is very discerning. Police uh, neighbors tell us that they had uh, never seen any police at this home in the past. They also say they didn't have any reason to believe that the Robertsons had any disturbances in the past and Child Protective Services never responded to this home. Now, we do uh, have tip numbers for you on our website because police are still looking to talk to witnesses who could provide any more information as to why this happened. Live in Austin, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN.